Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've done a weapon light comparison video and tonight we're going to be focusing on vampire lights, that is lights that allow you to project infrared uh, at roughly 850 nanometers as well as visible spectrum light. Uh, these are the Surefire Scout type lights that are switchable and I'm not going to focus on displaying that, their IR capabilities as their IR beams typically mimic the shape of their visible beams and how well you perceive or how you perceive that IR illumination is going to be dependent on your tube sensitivity of the device you're viewing it through and majorly uh, your illumination. If you have a three-quarter moon like you do tonight, uh, your... Um, IR illumination isn't going to appear nearly as spicy as if you have no moon. So it's, it's very subjective. I'd prefer just not to go down that rabbit hole. We're at 25 yards from two-thirds Ipsic steel. They've been painted white, and I've shot them some this afternoon, so they're a little bit dusted. Uh, also, there is a gray shooting uh, bag down there as well as a red chair kind of hidden in the bushes, and then a deer stand. So... That'll kind of give us an idea of situational awareness of these beam patterns as well. Now I'm going to compare this to my HLX. That's what I baseline everything off of. It's kind of ubiquitous, very uh, very affordable for what it does, and a lot of people have them. This is a 1000 lumen HLX light. This is low, medium, and high. And these targets are roughly three meters apart from each other. See the shooting bag, the red chair, and the deer stand. Red tends to kind of blend in at night. Uh, so this is, this is a pretty good test for that. Pretty good demonstration. Anyway, uh, the first light up is going to, other than our HLX of course, is going to be a Surefire 6 volt uh, Scout light. And this is the latest 350 lumen product. See, it's a very tight beam, not a whole lot of spill. And you have to pan to see these things, but it really illuminates well once you get them in frame. Situational awareness is not the greatest. It can kind of feel like looking through a drinking straw. And next we're going to have the three volt version of that. It is very similar in beam pattern. And only apparently a little bit less in output. I've measured the six volt version at 20,000 lux on a fresh battery and this one at 13,000 lux on a fresh battery. And I put fresh batteries brand new in everything before I came out here tonight. Next up is the Streamlight TLR VIR2, uh, one of their latest offerings for pistol light. And you can see it's a pretty good performer in and of itself. It's got more spill than the Surefire Scout offerings. Not as much throw. This is a single battery light. It's a three volt light. And I believe it is 300 lumens. You see our shooting bag, our chair, our deer stand. And you can see all three if you look very closely, at least I can. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. And up next, and forgive me, this is a little more awkward to shine. And there's going to be some barrel shadow in it uh, because I did not remove it from my shotgun before I came out here. But this is going to be the Surefire XVL2 IRC. It's a 400 lumen beam uh, with a max vision beam pattern, which very floody if you're not familiar with it. You see, that illuminates everything, but it doesn't have the candela that the other offerings have. Does very well for a shotgun at shotgun distances, indoors, short range outdoor stuff. 
And if y'all want to see the laser on it, I'll go ahead and select that. Uh, the visible laser anyway. Obviously, we're not going to be able to see the IR laser. Go ahead and toggle it over. Uh, this allows you to run pretty much any combination you want. Visible, visible laser, IR illumination, IR laser only. Um, there's our visible laser. It's very crisp. There's no artifact, no splash around it, even indoors. It's a really clean laser. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and take us back to 50 yards and we'll go through the lights again. Alright, I'm going to have to move a little bit off axis because there's a tree in our way there. I'm going to go ahead and start out with our um, <clears throat> with our HLX, kind of get our baseline. There's low, medium, and high. And I want to I also want to mention I did not recharge the battery in this HLX. It should still be putting out close to full power, uh, but it's not a freshly recharged battery. Everything else has a new battery in it. <clears throat> Here's our 6 volt Surefire Scout. You can see the beam kind of opens up at 50 yards. Still make out our chair, our shooting bag, get all three targets easily in frame and partially see our, our hide, our deer stand, uh, out of frame. And next up is going to be our 3 volt Scout. And at this range, we may start to see the 6 volt pulling away from it. Yeah, I think it is noticeable. You can tell a difference at this distance uh, between the 6 volt and the 3 volt. It's starting to become more apparent. Still make everything out. Have to kind of search for the chair a little bit, but it's still clearly visible. And now our single battery uh, TLR VIR2 light. Go ahead and send that downrange. I would say the throw is on par with our 1 volt scout, and it has more spill. A little bit warmer beam tint as well. I still make everything out, but I kind of have to search for that chair and definitely for that shooting bag. I don't know if I'd see the shooting bag. It's uh, it's basically a 25-pound bag, sandbag uh, wrapped in duct tape. Yeah. Use it for a rest and so forth. And here is our Surefire Max Vision 400 lumen uh, single battery XVL2 ER IRC. You can see it just lights up everything and shows us, ooh, I can barely make out that chair. I don't know if you can see it on video. Um, for rural work, this thing's strong point is definitely going to be its IR function and IR laser. It would work inside smaller structures. I know there's a big push, has been a big push for a long time for higher lumen, all the lumens, every lumen, um, no lumen left behind. And uh, for this crowd, probably a bad choice. Uh, for somebody who is looking for a compact laser, IR illuminator, viz laser, it does provide a solution. Pistols, PDWs, and shotguns being the primary uh, focus of that, I would believe. And again, that's our Viz laser. Very crisp. Anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed, and this has been informative. Y'all be safe. Go shoot stuff.